Good morning. Good morning, Firebird family. Glad to have you today. Um, I wanted to talk about two questions on the survey that maybe you might not be aware of and they have some relevance when it comes to safety. As a student who is in high school, generally parents allow students to work through their hydration level. Because of everybody's different health scenarios, everybody has a different amount of water that they should take every day. And those factors can be all over the place. While looking online for a couple different explanations about hydration, I found two kind of bookmarks that allow people to work at it at their own um, pace. The first one is that you take a graduated cylinder or something that you know how much is in it and you only drink during the day when you're thirsty. And at the end of the day, you count up to see how much water you drank, only when you're thirsty. Those numbers tend to be on the lower side. There's another way that you can do it, and that is that you take half of your body weight. So if you weigh 100 pounds, then you're going to take that in half, and it's 50, and then you take 50 ounces, and then that would be the amount of ounces that you would drink for the day. Now, I have to say that there, as you've been looking at the video that I asked you to look at yesterday, you're beginning to look at hydration. It is very important that you don't overhydrate. That half your weight in ounces is a really good barrier to not go above. Sometimes people think if I drink more, that that'll be better for me. If you drink too much water, it can actually flush out your electrolytes. You saw the electrolytes in the video that we talked about yesterday. So you wanna stay below that line. You do wanna be smart about it. You wanna make sure that you're drinking the right amount and not too much. So that'll give you a little bit of head start as you're working on your hydration for the daily technique. There's another question on there that talks about breathing. And I'll just tell you that there is a breathing exercise where you breathe deeply in through your nose and then slowly out through your nose. And you just keep doing that, deep in through your nose and out through your nose. But the trick is that you want to expand your belly as you're breathing in. And it works like a billow. So as you push your belly out, you breathe in. And you can even, after you stop breathing in with your lungs, you continue to push your belly out and you can feel air coming in. It turns out that it's really not the air that's making the difference. Air is great, it's helpful. We'll talk more about that later. But what's really happening is when you push your belly out and you pull air in, it's jingling on a nerve that's running down behind your lungs. That, that nerve goes up to your brain and resets your fight or flight. So anyway, I know maybe it's a little bit too much today, but remember, don't overhydrate. It's a personal thing. Talk with your parents, find out what's best for you. I had a large number that I was uncomfortable with and so I started and worked my way up to that, and I found that that was a really good number for me. So anyway, if you have any questions, uh, post them here. Uh, be safe, be smart, and enjoy your day, and enjoy your holiday.